We are an army of EdTech entrepreneurs. Solving the world's greatest biggest problems. Only 7% of mechanical engineers in the U.S. are female. This has to change. Food gets contaminated, drugs have severe side effects, but with 4,000 new regulations every year, how do companies keep up and keep safe? By 18 months of age, low-income children are already six months behind. Most children who are behind in kindergarten will never catch up. A college degree no longer guarantees you a job. Employers want to see real-world experiences, but how are students supposed to get experience when colleges don't offer it? More than 60% of patients get readmitted to the hospitals within first 30 days of discharge, which costs more than $100 billion to the healthcare system and causes unnecessary 100,000 deaths annually. Around the world, researchers are looking for the next great scientific discovery, but the knowledge they need is buried in millions of articles they simply don't have time to read. Research is being duplicated, and opportunities to change the world are being missed. With an average net worth of negative $17,000, millennials cannot turn to financial institutions for advice. Where do we turn? How does a doctor in a remote village learn brain surgery? How does a firefighter learn to stop a raging blaze? The first time you experience it, it better not be for real. Only a third of employees are actively engaged. The others feel detached, without guidance. Consequently, the average tenure at firms like Google and Oracle is under two years. We have a reading crisis in America. By fourth grade, two thirds of students are behind. The research is clear. Practice makes the difference. For many reasons, the majority of kids don't read each day. If you're a college student in India or Egypt or in any emerging market and you want to figure out who you can become in today's knowledge fuel economy, who do you turn to? Who guides you? Two billion people speak English as their second language. Many know their grammar, their vocabulary is rich, but when they speak, no one understands them. Without being understood, there are no jobs, no promotions, no hope. Thank you.